Hi, here is how to create concurrent movement in MovieSoup. That is, how to make more than one thing move at the same time. So let's open up the example we created before. This basic example. Let's play that. Stop. Okay, let's say while the flying saucer lands on the planet, we want the rocket to zoom past here. Let's go all the way to the beginning of the animation and let's get a rocket. Here we've got one. Let's draw this up and I use the rotate tool here to get it into position into the facing the right direction. Okay, let's move that all the way over here and press record. So when I move the rocket now, the previous animation will play underneath. So I can see where I am. The move tool, at the rocket, zoom over here. Oh, that was a close miss. There we go. Stop that. Play it. There it goes. Obviously. You can make as many things move as you want. And we'll be soon. For example, we can make this planet move over here. Let's press record again. Let's move this very slowly. Now MovieSoup automatically appends time to animation if one movement is finished but the other one is still going on. So I go back to where still everything moves. There we go. At this land and the rocket disappear and cut everything off thereafter using this button. Here, a window comes up asking me delete everything after this point or delete everything before this point. So I want to delete everything after that. Click OK. So it's cut off now. Here's my animation. Oh. Okay, let's stop that. So remember, you can create concurrent movement in MovieSoup simply by recording another animation track over an existing animation. This can happen from wherever you want to. Usually you would move the timeline slider all the way to the beginning, start from here. But obviously you can do that from the middle as well. Okay, that's it for now.